Most people in America are quite aware of what abuse is, and yet there are certain people in America that will continue to abuse people like me and like you. They don't care who they are, they don't care what they do, they don't care if they do things from afar because they love to play on you. And when I say these rhymes, I'm trying to piss off the people in time who've been abusing my rights and taking away your rights and openly saying, your rights don't matter, my rights matter, I'm entitled. You are not. I am going to be God. You are not. I am going to lord over your life. You are not. Openly, you don't understand that the God in heaven is watching you because you have no God. You don't care about God. You are probably someone from what? A foreign land? A foreign state? Somebody who lies about the religion that your parents practice? Or just somebody who doesn't care about God? The problem with you is that you think you're God. The problem with you is that you are abusing a man's life. The problem with you is that you are abusing a man's body. The problem with you is that you have sexually assaulted somebody and you just thought that it's okay to do it. Well, let's do the same thing to you, motherfucker. Let's do everything to you that has happened to me since 2012. Let's just do that. Let's just go about doing that. How much of you and what you did to me has been going on since 2012? Or did you just decide to add your shit to the game that I've been in? And you just think that my visits to the FBI and other places and Homeland Security just isn't going to hit your life. And you just think that the Marshal Service isn't going to help me because they just love guys like you or women like you. Is that what you think? Now, let's go back to God. Do you have the right to edit God? And the answer is no. God doesn't ask you to edit me. God does not ask you to rebuke me because you are not a part of my faith. You are not a part of my love life. You are not a part of my family of choice. You are a complete stranger showing yourself to be a perverted peeping Tom on life. An eavesdropper that uses his ears to harm people. An immature boy who hasn't grown up despite the fact that his body might have come full circle and become full grown. Your brain is still a pea brain. And why you can say that is because you're doing this to me. You still just think you're ahead of me. You're not ahead of me. And you're never ahead of the Lord of Most High. So keep playing on me, but at some point, the people around you are just going to put it all on you. And openly, if they don't, the people that have been playing for me are going to come out and defend me. So be clear. You have to decide. Are you ready to lose your life to jail? Are you ready to lose your life to prison? Are you ready to do any of that before you make another fucking stupid ass call to police? Because the minute you do that, they got your whole fucking network. And while you're at work at a $10 an hour job... Somebody in the police department is probably in your house fucking your wife. Now, how do you like that? Does that sound like I enjoy sheriff or policeman? Not one motherfucking bit. But that's not the point. The point is that my life is mine, your life is yours, and if you think you have the right to do this shit to me, let's do, a, do every fucking thing that's happened to me over the past how many years? Long time? To you. And let us just see how sane you, at your level of education, your le level of, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, I'm losing my P word, um, uh, sorry, V word, vocation, handles it.